So what is up bosses, it's your boy Boss Fatwad and welcome back to another episode of 3 Random Games. This ladies and gentlemen is episode number 57 and this time we are starting off with a game I didn't intend to start off with. So this, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see on your wonderful monitors or screens, where we are freaking watching this on the toast of the fridge, this ladies and gentlemen is imposter hide. Yes, let's get all the Among Us stuff out of the way. This is an Among Us fan made horror game. I mean obviously it's a fan made but this is apparently a horror game and there's levels. So this is level one. So as I said, this isn't the game I plan to play. I plan to play McGunch Chapter 1 Remastered. But for whatever reason, I left that game for about five minutes. It was not opening. I tried reinstall or uninstalling, reinstalling, nothing. And especially as that game cost four pounds, and I've seen it as about 10 minutes long. I wasn't actually going to play it anyway, because I thought four pounds for a game that's 10 minutes is definitely not worth it. And obviously I did play the original. I'm pretty sure it's on this channel. I did actually play McGunch already. So if you want to see me play that, then go and I guess type in Boss Fat Wad McGunch. I'm pretty sure it wasn't called Chapter 1. I'm pretty sure it's just called Boss Fat Wad McGunch. Or the game's called McGunch, but you'll type in Boss Fat Wad McGunch if you want to find my video. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is Imposter Hide, an Among Us fan-made horror game. So I do actually mention McGunch Chapter 1 Remastered later on in the video. I have actually recorded the second and third game already. This is obviously basically what I did was... I saw that McGunch wasn't loading, so I thought, I'll play the second and third game, I'll go out, I was out for a couple hours today, I came back, and it was still not working, so I thought, well, I need to record a three round of games, I need to record at least a full one video, I can't record two thirds of a video today and say, yep, that's this day done, so... I just sat down, found this game because this game is very popular and we're playing this. So I do mention McGunch Chapter 1 Remastered later on in the video in the second game or I'm pretty sure it's the third game as well. So yeah, don't get confused. We are not playing that. We are playing this game instead. Fixed wiring, empty shoot, ton of power, swipe card, garbage A, a line engine output. So I have Among Us, the game, on both Epic Games I got for free and Game Pass I got for free as well. So despite having the game on two completely separate platforms, I have never played Among Us. I am very much so aware of what the game is, but I tend to not, it's weird, I tend to not play games that are that popular. Games that are insanely popular, I tend to not play just because I know there's going to be a bunch of people playing it. What the hell is that? Oh, I, I'm red, am I? I'm red guy. Awesome. Blue guy's very much so dead. Oh, um, oh, that's the map. Let's not be freaking looking at that now. Jesus Christ, mate. So I saw the, the legend Fat Dino, the person that's actually making all these, like, um, remastered, like, Flappy Bird RTX. He made an Among Us, or an Unreal Among Us as well. So if you want to see me play that soon, then maybe that'll be in the next... Three random games will be going down like a Among Us fan made thing. No, I am not going to play the actual Among Us. I will play these games and these games only. Thank you very much. Well, that's like that. Okay, so how do I press F to open? What? Okay, so E is just get the map out. How do I interact with these things though? Oh, blue or white is very much so dead here. How do I interact with any of this? To alarm. Well, how do I interact with the things? Was that was that showing me? I are there freaking controls? No controls. I don't know what the controls are. E is just whenever. Get the map out whenever. That's not like something I need to do here. Yeah, present E now. F left click, right click. Doesn't do anything. Don't know if the game's freaking broken. No idea. Oh, what, did, what did that say? Press F to open just flashes on the screen. Okay, well let me die so I can at least see the animation. Okay. That actually looks really freaking cool. That genuinely looks really cool. So yeah, you can see the press F to open is just flashing. F to hide, there we go. Okay, that's actually working now. Is any of this... Okay, can't actually do any of that. I'm pretty sure over here, right? This thing also said F to open. Oh, what the hell is this? Wait a freaking minute. What on earth are you, mate? Thank you for the thumbnail anyway. My God. What is that? That'll be the most confusing thumbnail on the planet, just having you there. Jesus Christ, okay. Let me... I guess this... I know you're going to come through here. So let me just hide for a minute. And then hopefully I can actually interact with things. Oh my god, I've lit- Okay. That was the worst thing that could have happened. Going out of hiding there. 
That doesn't work. Can I hide here? I know that this is the... This is a task here. Oh god, okay. Brilliant. Um... Oh god! No, okay, I, I, I could press F to hide there. Well, this is going amazingly, isn't it? Yeah, and then I went down this way before. Yeah, so everyone's already dead, so I guess I was just late to start playing, maybe? This before. It said F to open on this, right? Now it's not saying F to open. Is the game just completely broken? I don't... I can't actually interact with anything. I don't know what's happening. Oh, there. Okay, that actually worked. I remember this. Okay, you there. You need to be freaking quicker than that, mate. Is that actually... Yeah, that is actually one there, yeah. Okay. I am good at wherever this freaking game is. I completely forget what this game's called. That should be all of them. Perfect. So I can interact with stuff. This can't interact with. This guy's coming. Maybe I can just hide here. Maybe this is a sufficient hiding spot. I don't know. So that's the reactor done there. So it's saying press F to open there is invalid. Where am I? Can't see myself. Brilliant. I guess the stars signify... Oh, I can see myself. Never mind. I can fully see myself. So I can actually just have this open all the time if I wanted to. I am going to die again. Come on. Yeah, we're fine. Wait, so does that mean... Oh, does that mean... So what does the stars mean? The stars mean there's just someone there, maybe. Alright, let me just have the map up for now. Sorry if this is annoying. It's just, um... I just don't know the freaking maps at all. I got up this way. And then let's just go to the room on the right here. And then what is this star? Does this mean there's something there to do? Yes, it does. There we go. That's good. F2 open. Yeah, F2 open just flashes on the screen. Randomly. Not too sure why it does that. I can no longer interact with that, so I guess that's just something that's good now. Oh, Jesus Christ, I thought that was him. My God. Oh, brilliant. Hello, mate. Let's go on the right. I can't move on here, so I'm just stuck here. Yeah, that's good. Or it's not good. He does seem to be coming right up here. This is really good, though. Despite uh, F to interact not working half the time, why do I come out of the freaking table a different place to when I freaking entered? How I entered. When I entered. Who I entered. Not be saying that last one anymore, shall we? This is where you can check comms, right? That's comms. I know that. That's where you can, like, check just freaking like the the cameras to see where people are and see if you're going to see anyone killing anyone i very much so know who the who the freaking sus person is the person that sus is very much so someone that i know about is this not okay can't do garbage apparently what's well, that one let me come out i should be right yeah because that's not going to be right there he definitely shouldn't be over here though this is... I remember this one as well. There we go. And that's all I've got to do for that. Okay. How do I bring Toss up again? How do we get Toss up? I completely forget. The Tosses have gone. I'm pretty sure there's a button to press to actually get the Toss. So you see where it says Toss? It can actually like get that to pop out. To show you what you've done. Well, this is something as well. That's not something, never mind. So, I guess just on different levels more open up then, maybe. Right now, there's not many tasks I can actually do. Hello. Oh, I did actually go the wrong way. Whoops. Did actually go the freaking wrong way. Fantastic. Orange is dead there. Am I? I'm red, yeah. I haven't seen red dead yet. Red dead redemption, some would say. Oh, you've gone. And here is another new place. That's nothing. This is nothing. Have I broken the game again? Because I can't seem to get 
the task thing out, like the thing that's saying or the thing that's showing how many tasks I've completed is not something I can have out anymore. Rubbish here? No? Okay, I guess because that's green, that's done already. I guess someone else did that. I have no idea. Can't freaking tell you how many more tasks I've got to do because none of the buttons actually get out anymore, apparently. What the hell is this? I don't know where I'm going. I have no clue where I'm freaking going. Absolutely no idea. Oh god, Jesus Christ. What's this? Oh, this is comms here, yeah. Comms that you can't freaking use. It's really not obvious what you can interact with and what you can't. Like that. Surely I can interact with that, right? That's like a locker that I can hide in. I can't, though. Not something I can interact with. So that's where I just was. So let's go... Let's not go that way. Because I can't freaking see anything, apparently. Okay, you're right there, mate. You know what? Because I can't see tasks anymore, I'm just going to get him to kill me, and then hopefully... Well, let's go home. Then let's start again fully like that. And let's pray... The one, the tasks doesn't go off the screen. And to... That I can actually interact with all the things I need to interact with, hopefully. I got one, two, three, I've got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, there's six. Okay. There's actually something in this main room. There's six stars, so the stars definitely do signify what you've got to do, right? Yeah, this thing here. I can actually interact with. Yeah. All right, let's go through here. And then, are there hiding spaces? There is. I know there is, because I saw one over here. There's not. Never mind. I'm sure I saw a hiding space in here. Because I went in here, and this is the first time he caught me. And I was here, and it said press F... Oh. What? Um. Okay, I can hide in here. He's just entered as well, has he? He hasn't descended, never mind. I think he entered and exited! I am dead again. This is going amazingly. This is why we play these games on a three random games. Hello, mate. So now there's nothing over here, but I know that he doesn't spawn over here anymore. Yes, he does spawn over there. Brilliant. Fantastic. Still have no idea about this game. All right, so down this way and then left at the end. And then right, left, no, left, left again, yes, left, no, right, no, yeah, r right, Jesus Christ, okay. In here, oh, it goes faster if you do it faster, I see. Like that, he's gonna get me again, isn't he? Oh no, never mind. I guess that means he didn't enter the room then, right? One more. Top left, middle. Okay, it gets confusing what I actually say, so I'm just gonna do it. When I start talking like top left, middle, top left or whatever... And that's when it gets confusing. Right, that's fine. I just want to be the first level. This is three random games. Don't need to finish this game in the freaking slightest. In fact, I could just end this video now because of this game now because I know the video is going to be long enough. Might just go for this one. Now, what am I doing here? What? Oh, I do. Okay. I move these ones. All right then. Well, that's that one. Yes. Once again, I'm kind of blind, so I mean, it doesn't freaking matter with that one. That's very easy. Um, I actually missed one apparently. Oh, but you are back there though. I did see you there, so run that one off for now. I need to actually go through this way. Yeah, because that was a one off there. Through this way, then up. Up that way. Yes. Then stuff like this, this isn't anything. This is eventually, I mean, that is something. But it's not something on level one. So go up. Oh no, th there isn't anything. What, what? Oh, fixed lights is, th is the last thing. Oh, I'm sure that I freaking saw another star there. I guess there are other people that do stuff for you, potentially. Not through there, but I hear him. I very much so hear him. So I'm not going to hide under that desk. Not going to hide under that desk either. 
That disc? No, not something I can hide under, apparently. I can instead hide inside of an object. Which is very logical, isn't it? Yeah, he is very loud. Yeah, okay. He needs to be going this way, yeah. In, in that room there. I'm just gonna run quite a lot over this way. Maybe just here. And then hope that he doesn't actually- yeah, he doesn't. Okay, perfect. But then the thing is, he is there. Isn't he? Like, he's just there. In this corridor somewhere. I guess I can listen out. Yeah, he's there. I hear his footsteps. Yeah, I, I very much so hear him now. I won't hear him anymore though, so maybe he did... Go... No, there's nowhere. Oh, maybe he's just in that room then, right? He might just be in that room. I don't hear him at all though. I do hear him now. Oh, come on, no! Oh my god, oh, come on, I thought that's a flank through, there's none. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I can hide in here. This is hiding. Please? Oh my god. Oh, I've done it. I've done it by... glitching, I can hide there. Oh no? I can't hide in, no, I can't hide anymore, no. Whoops, um... It's not letting me hide anymore, no! Oh my god, please. Oh, thank god. He's not in here, is he? Oh my god, okay. Just this left. Fix lights. Like that. Oh, what? I thought I had- oh, fix light- okay, so you have to fix lights and then you can continue on, I see. Okay. I think now actually, yeah, that is the same in the main game. Yeah, without the lights you can't do any of the tasks, that's right. So this way and then on the right. Yeah, I, I was in here as well. Oh, that's annoying. At least I haven't done this one yet, right? What do I do? Okay. I mean, the tasks are very freaking simple, but they are in the actual game as well. If I remember correctly. Alright, so right, right. Oh. Oh. I just left clicked, and then at exactly the same time, there was a marker right where I am now. Not sure if that actually was me, did it? Yeah, once again, this is one that I said I thought I'd have to do. Now it's very simple Garbage B and clean O2 filter. I am very much so actually. I'm not paranoid because if I could just get into this room, there we go. Easy. Done. As long as. Yeah, so I need to push all these over there. As long as he doesn't come in this room. And I mean, yeah, once you do all of this, it's just game over straight away or just over straight away, right? There we go. Victory. Hell yes. That, ladies and gentlemen, is where I'm going to leave. I've completely forgotten the name of the game. That, ladies and gentlemen, is where I'm going to leave Imposter Hide. Obviously, as I said, I've actually recorded the last two games, but I do do an outro there. I'm not going to do an outro here because that would make no sense to this recording. This has been very much so the most hectic three random games ever, so please consider leaving it a like. I know you've seen a third of the freaking video, and I hate people that actually ask for likes at the beginning, but for the amount of effort I've gone through, I deserve it. I'm now going to watch an ad to get a hundred more of these things. Brilliant. That, ladies and gentlemen, ends Imposter Hide. Moving on to the next one. Welcome to Inside the Dark. So this game and the third game in this episode are actually quite high on the Itch Horror Games page, or I believe there's the Itch Games page in general. So I'm expecting good things from this game and the next game in this episode. So let's freaking go. Ever since that day, I've kept wandering in the dark. Okay. Bit of a weird thing to just randomly say, but what have we got? We have a door there. Okay, so E, perfect. Already know the freaking barn, so E to interact with a door. Always good to know. 
So it's quite dark. No torch. Okay, so actually just F and then I actually just says no torch. All right, got it. All right, so no other buttons do anything. Yeah, so that's... He is definitely to open the door. We can just about see the environment. Jesus Christ. They've made it so you can just about see where you're going. There we go. Torch. Awesome. Perfect. Now I can see over there. I don't know... Oh, there actually is... Another way to go there. So I can go that way, or I can go this way. Well, this seems to... Uh, this room. Should I go back the other way? There's blood there. Feels strangely familiar. It's locked. Okay, I feel like, yeah. I, I feel like I don't have a choice now to go back down here. And then let's try that door. I think that's the way I went right before. Well, that's the way I came from, I guess. That's all locked, won't open, can't get in. Alright, fair enough. So this door that doesn't look like a door, I guess, is a door? Dot, dot, dot. Am I going to turn around and things have changed? No, never mind. So it must be something in here then, potentially, that I missed. So we have that door there. Any cabinets or anything? Or maybe can I interact with this? I can't. Okay. And then that door was definitely locked. Yeah, that's locked. All right then, that's strange. So I've got this torch for a reason. There must be something, or maybe... Without the torch? No. Okay. And yeah, like, not, none of the other buttons do anything. Is there something under the stairs? Okay, I... I'm not too sure what I'm missing here. Won't open, can't get in. It's locked, okay. And then back there is just where I got the torch. There's nothing there. Nothing in this hallway thing here. Then you're there. Maybe I can interact with a painting or something? Nothing there. Nothing on the chair. Maybe there's... Oh, here we go. A key right there. A key. I did not even start to freaking imagine that there was potentially going to be... Keys and stuff that I need to get. I'm watching you. And the painting's on the floor. Still locked. Key doesn't seem to fit either. So the key is potentially for... The door that is not a door. Or the painted on door, potentially. Is what it is. Yeah, this door here. Let me turn off the torch because it's too right with it. Never mind. That's not for that one. It's for this one. It's locked. There we go. Just that one. Okay. That's a very weird door. Maybe it could have been used for that one as well. I'm not too sure. Well, this very much so looks like a wonderful hallway. Was this why? Oh, this reminds me of that freaking horrifying game that I played previously this year, like that. From the Darkness or something? God, that game really freaking terrified me. And I'm pretty sure I had a similar room like this. Oh, we're actually just sitting on the chair now. We're sitting on the chair, door wide open, and there's someone there. Very freaking out of focus ghost over there. This is the definition of exactly what you don't want to freaking happen. You and the noise have gone out. To freaking top off everything, the lights have gone out as well. Now we're in a room with just a singular key. Another key. Brilliant! Okay, hello mate! How are we doing? Jesus Christ. Okay. How did I end up here? No clue, mate. I remember grabbing that key. Oh, we're back here, okay. Fair enough. So I remember grabbing the key, so I guess I've still got the key for something. Yeah, I'm not going to freaking go in there anymore. Seems to have been tampered, tampered with, does that say? Yeah. Or tampered, apparently, is a freaking word. Oh, I'm going in there now. Brilliant. Just going to check up here first. I potentially just can't go in there. Yeah, okay. It seems shut. Seems there's no use for any key here. Fair enough. So I guess that just means that we're just never going to be going back in there then. This is really good so far. I mean, I'm always relatively surprised that these games actually are quite good, but I mean, it is. This and the next game are going to be freaking good, or maybe the next game is going to be good, I don't know, but this game is good because it's on the freaking first row of the top games of itch at the moment. It won't open. Can I not interact with that, though? What did that say? Face your fear. Okay, then. Face my fear, which is this door. So I face the door... Oh, that was good. Did you see the light? It only showed up when you passed the pillar. I freaking love that. When you have to actually maneuver yourself around objects like pillars like that. And actually different things are there. I'm a massive fan of that. I mean, that first jump scare, very good. That freaking scare, very good. 
A scare behind me is not something that's a thing. No noose there, that's good to see. Well, that's good to not see in this case, I guess. Or it's good to see no noose there, so therefore you're not seeing anything, so therefore it's good. Locked. Okay, we're fine. Yep, there's someone there now. That is a very freaking good character model. I'm a big fan of that. Is it going to be there again? It's not. Oh, there's Zudos here. Locked, all right, fair enough. So we turn around and I guess, yeah, always turn around freaking slowly. We go through a very freaking much a fan of that character model. These are the games I really want this to be a demo. So then hopefully I can potentially play more of it in the future. Let me be looking on the floor. Oh, we did see someone here though, right? We did very much so see someone here before. I guess let me look right down. So that's a pillar there. Meaning there should be a door over there. Sorry about that freaking barging into you. Jesus Christ, mate. Head first right into your stomach. Apologize. Or apologies. I apologize. I just said apologize. All right. I guess we'll head back up here then. Yeah, the, the only thing right now that's not great is just that running sound. Yeah, you can hear there's just this exactly the same sound. It kind of gets cut off right at the end. That's really the only thing I can see wrong about this so far. Everything else is really cool. But the character model is good. The jump scares are good. Oh yeah, so I completely forgot before. There's no reason to go through there. So this one has not. I mean, this one we haven't been through yet, right? Here we go. So there's one door still there that we haven't yet been to. So maybe one more try or one more going back to that thing, going through that door is never going to end. I've made my decision. There we go. That is actually the end of the game. I have completely forgotten the name of the game though. So can I actually see the name of the game? I guess I'll just wait for the credits. Oh, thank you for playing. Here we go. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was Inside the Dark. Very freaking good game. Jump scares were good. The character model was good like that. Character model, I didn't really get a great look here, but obviously when I edit, I can actually slow it down and zoom in for me and stuff like that. See it? Very freaking good. Moving on to the final game of the episode. Welcome to Whitehaven. Much like the last game, I believe this game is one further back, so it will probably still be equally as good, hopefully. So this is the prologue you saw there. So my name is Rachel and I live... It's not Rachel, but my name theoretically is Rachel and I live at the Whitehaven Orphanage. Two days ago, my friend Claire tried to leave the orphanage and she hasn't come back to our room yet. I'm very worried. I managed to get the room keys from the reception closet. Yeah, the closet. And I'm going to get out of here tonight. Continue is part of that text there. I like that. I have a choice to freaking get rid of the the dialogue. Ooh. Okay. Very freaking nice looking game. All right, then. No graphical sense, just the resolution sense, unfortunately. So I guess it just looks like this for everyone playing it. Oh, I mean, obviously, like the resolution you can turn down, but like 1920 by 1080, it just looks like this for everyone. Oh, there's a flashlight in there. Oh, okay. This is Mr. Cotton. I'll leave him here so the monsters won't hurt him. All right, fair enough. So, I'm still not a big fan. I mean, obviously, this dev hasn't done it. I'll, I'll say it now. I'm still not a big fan of devs doing that, where it's completely pitch black and you just have to walk behind you to know where you're going. Obviously, this dev hasn't done that. It, he's given you, or they've given you, a freaking a torch. I was just too stupid to realize... I could freaking get one. I don't know why I just suddenly left that room straight away. I never do that. If you've watched any video I've done ever since this point, you will know that I definitely do take my time looking at the environments. Here we go. I can actually see things now. So that's, yeah, that's why I kept getting caught there. Yeah, that, that happened before. Yeah. But this time I can actually see and still have no idea what freaking caused that sound. So now I guess I went here and maybe was just walking into there. Yeah, so I turned. Oh, okay. Okay. I turned around there, but that is a very freaking cool scare. So I would have completely missed that if I continued playing. I mean, I don't think it's physically possible to actually play it with... Without just seeing anything. Maybe there's a speedrun. A speedrun of, once again, completely forgotten the name. A speedrun of this game not being able to see. Very freaking good watch, wouldn't it? Oh, that plank there potentially caused that sound when I was in there. Another plank here? You're going to freaking have the same fate, mate? No, you just stay clipped slightly inside that wall. Okay, fair enough. 
Okay, a lot of set dressing around here. Can I can go up there? Can go here though and potentially get caught. Whitehaven Orphanage. The Whitehaven Orphanage is a non-profit institution for abandoned children. Here they will be able to develop and grow together both in an academic and social environment. Since 1875, the year I was born, we have taken care of all these unfortunate little ones thanks to our donations. Our facilities allow children to access a large number of services, some of which include primary and secondary education classes, tutorials and personalized support, uh, support even, gyms and play areas, library, nursing and uh, periodic medical checkups, socialization and interrogation sessions. Wonderful. Right click to close. I like to think that they actually mentioned that in the freaking letter. Yes, if you're reading this in real life, you have to click right click on your freaking mouse, your wired or wireless mouse, not a real life mouse. To all the freaking boomers out there that don't know what mice are, on your wired or wireless electronic mouse, you need to right click to actually close that freaking letter. And for some reason, I actually managed to go the same way I went again. So it's this way, is where we saw that guy before, right? So then this door, we will potentially meet that said guy. No, never mind. We are going back. Oh, there's two planks there now. Is that the jump scare in this game? Oh, God. Was that clear? I hope she's already uh, far from here. That's not the freaking jump scare in this game. The main thing in this game isn't that wooden planks are just going to be randomly freaking appearing somewhere. That's not the main part of the game. Thank God. Jesus Christ, mate. Where is Claire? Claire Redfield, is that you, girl? Well, so let's just stab my eye, and that brilliant. I actually did stab my eye then, because the camera is my eye. My one eye that I've got. Would not open because there is no electricity. Fair enough, mate. Pretty sure I saw a freaking lamp on in your room, though, so that's false, isn't it? I guess I am meant to go... I hope I'm meant to go back here, because I cannot freaking sprint, and it takes quite a freaking long time to go over there. I might have missed a key in that room. Yes, I missed a key in that room. All right, see you next year. I'll have a look back in this room as well just to make sure I'm not missing a key in here. Oh, there we go. Th th this should be enough. Oh, there we go. I was actually meant to come back through here. All right, then. What is that done, though? Well, that's... Okay, turn the power. Oh, I guess the power turned off and then on again. There we go. Perfect. And what have we got in here? We have a radio. I need to fi uh, find something to tell me reach that window. Alright, then I will do exactly that. I still need a potential key, though. For more history books, I always love that subject. These boxes are too heavy, I can't move them. Alright, then. Yeah, can't get through there. Potentially, I can interact with this radio. Or is there? Is that everything in here? Maybe I need to go back to... Yeah, probably go back to this bit now, right? There's one more door here on the right. I, I guess I'll just still... Oh, no, yeah, that, that's that thing. And then we got another door somewhere. Or another room somewhere, anyway. Right in this room here. I guess I'll go back in here. And then to see if there's a key or something I missed. So here we go. Ladder. Awesome. I guess that's exactly what I need. Poltergeist. Hello, mate. How are we doing? Can't turn you off, never mind. Yeah, with this ladder, I guess I can reach up to that device thing that I was just talking about that I definitely haven't forgotten what it is. That's the generator. Freaking scares me every time. That, oh, that's a new sound. Sounds like someone's picked a lock right there. Oh, okay, so yeah, so we're gonna use that there and then climb out, hopefully. I saw the both of these orbs. All of these games were quite short. Hello, mate. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's just the end now. Thank you for playing the prologue of Whitehaven. In the final version, you'll be able to explore the orphanage in his or in its entirety. You will find puzzles, mysteries to be solved, and much more horror. If you've enjoyed the experience, don't forget to add the game to your wish list. Well, that kind of is just a basic game though isn't it like it's still good it's still very good i probably won't play this one that second game though is very good obviously mcgunch is just that's just the um the remastered chapter one i very much so doubt they're going to be making any chapters after that 
This game, quite basic, so I think I'll just leave it here. But that, ladies and gentlemen, ends the Whitehaven prologue, and therefore concludes episode number 57, I believe, of three random games. As usual, there'll be a link in the description if you want to have yourself. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe for our brand new, as for the boy Boss Fab one. Thanks for watching, and of course, as always, peace.